Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. You know it. 4.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I got a very interesting story this morning. I, th I think it's very, I think you guys will find it very interesting too. And, and some of the, uh, there's a few points that shock me. Um, it's about a police officer in Port Wentworth, Georgia. His name is Jacob Kersey. Now, down below, there's going to be a link, so you can read the whole story yourself. The link I have down below is to the LGBTQ magazine, and uh, I believe there's another link to the Daily Signal. Uh, that's a left uh, one left left leaning uh, news article, one right leaning news news article. Also, there's a link down below for a video. He was being interviewed by a Christian broadcasting company. Okay. Jacob Kersey resigned from the police department in Port Wentworth, Georgia, uh, after a disagreement about a Facebook post. I'll fill you in on this. Jacob Kersey is all of 19 years old. I, I honestly, I was shocked to see this. This kid, he looks like a high school kid. I cannot imagine this boy. I, I guess he, legally he's a man. I, I could not imagine this guy coming up to the, my window. Like for a speeding ticket or something, with you know, strapped with all his equipment, you know, the un <laughs> hairless, unshaved face, uh, reprimanding me, somebody who's been driving for forty years, uh, about you know, giving me a ticket. Uh, that I'd have a hard time with that. I'll be honest with you guys. But anyway, so he he's a born again Christian, you know, uh, firm Christian beliefs, and uh, he posted on his personal Facebook account that he does not believe in gay marriage. That he, he quotes the Bible and God, and you know it's his belief that gay marriage is null and void. It doesn't exist. This was on his personal Facebook account. Okay. Obviously, there was a lot of complaints. People saw this, and his superiors called him in. And they, they told him this, that basically they were worried that what if there was a, a use of force? against a member of the LGBTQ community. They could, you know, the town, the police department could easily be sued. sued. They could use this, uh, it could come up in a lawsuit where the town and, or the taxpayers of the town would have to end up having to foot a large bill. This would put, this puts the police department, his employer, at risk of a lawsuit because it makes him look biased in some cases. And police, policemen cannot be biased. He kind of, the, the, his superiors informed him that he isn't, that being a police officer, he does not have the same freedom of speech that other people have. You know, this is something that doesn't come as a surprise to me. Just like, you know, politicians, uh, you know, people that are supposed to be arbitrary, especially police, uh, policemen, not arbitrary, but are supposed to be unbiased and, uh, and not express their opinions publicly so that way they could do their job without appearing to lean one way or the other or favor one person or other or favor another one side or the other side which would open the town and thus the taxpayers to huge lawsuits now jacob disagreed and would not take the post down because he believed he had a duty to god and to you know he had to tell everybody his you know again this is i think the big problem here is this this is a 19 year old kid and when you're hired by somebody, you have to do what they say, no matter what, if you agree with it or not. And otherwise, you lose your job. Um, so he disagreed with this. And they took some steps where they, they, they asked him to come in and hand in all his police equipment. I think basically they were trying to scare him. It's a, you know, they did, I don't think they really wanted to fire him. That's my opinion. And uh, they were trying to get him just to take down. All they wanted him to do was remove that from his personal Facebook page, you know, and it's a personal, it's a really, it's a personal opinion. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can totally see the police department side of this. Um, you know, I, I think him, this, this young guy being so inexperienced, he didn't see the, the, he, he couldn't see the both sides. He couldn't see his superior side. So anyway, after about three, uh, warnings, he ended up, resigning because he felt that his fellow police officers wouldn't have his back. So basically his feelings were hurt because they wouldn't agree. They didn't agree with him. They asked him to take down his personal Facebook post. So he took his, he took his stuff and he went home and he handed in his keys and he's not playing no more. 
I think I think the big problem here is hiring 19 year old police officers. I, I, I didn't look this up. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm, I'm guessing here in Connecticut that you have to be at least 21 years old. He, he was he was talking about how he graduated from the police academy last May and he's 19 years old now. So, I mean, it makes it, it sounds like he was going to the police academy when he was 17. The police academy is what, six months? Um, this is an extremely young and young police or former police officer. I think the big problem here is his immaturity uh, above everything else. Um, I could see the problem if uh, he goes to a domestic, a lot of times police get called domestic violence situations. I think for police officers, this is the most dangerous cause for domestic violence situations. And sooner or later, I'm sure one of them would be between an LGBTQ couple, a married couple. So what happens when he goes there and married people have rights, you know, rights of being a, a couple. And he goes there, but he sees them in a different light. I, I tried to find, you know, as usual, I tried to, I was thinking of different ways I could use empathy. Like, what if, now this is not my belief at all, but what if, uh, say, I believe that cocaine should be legal and I was a police officer and, you know, I put it on my Facebook post and then, you know, you know, I, could I be fired for that? And I, I, could, I could see how that would interfere or, uh, I don't know, I was trying to think of other situations. I think the big problem here, again, is, is, is his immaturity. His lack, his, inability, his inability to realize that he is working for the town. And if they ask him to do something, regardless, he, he can't see that he does have limited freedom of speech. Um, and it, it looked like they were trying to work with him. Uh, they gave him three breaks. And he's the one, they had an investigation after this. And he wasn't punished at all. There was no punishment, no, no nothing. And he decided to uh, resign. So, I mean, just because basically his feelings were hurt. Uh, I think the big problem here is immaturity. I mean, I remember when I was 19 years old and I was mature. I, I believe I was mature for my age. I had been, I went to a technical school straight for 18 months or I worked full time and went to school full time for the period when I was 18, 19 years old for 18 months straight, no summers off. And then I got hired by one of the big architectural firms here in Connecticut. And I was actually meeting clients and designing homes at 19 years old. So, uh, you know, I'm no stranger to fitting into this scenario. But when I look back, I still cringe when I remember some of the ways I treated my fellow employees, the immature ways I looked at things, the immature things I said. Uh, you know, I, I, I worked at this, this big architectural firm but as soon as I walked out that door I would race to a, a keg party seriously um yeah I'm not saying this guy races to keg parties or does any of that but my my decision making was nowhere near fully matured at 19 years old I think the big problem here is hiring if it were up to me personally I I think 25 would for me personally would be a minimum age for a police officer when I look back at uh my level of maturity and the level of maturity of people around me. I, and if you're going to be carrying a firearm and uh, have this kind of control over the population, over their town residents, I, I, I cannot, I can't believe, honestly, I, I, I can't believe that they give this to a 19-year-old boy. Uh, let me know what you think. The, article, the, the whole articles and everything will be down below. I'm really interested in hearing you guys' opinions about this. Uh, the whole freedom of speech, the 19-year-old thing. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good Thursday.